Hi everyone. Uh, uh, today we are looking at question ten from story sheet three. Yeah. So if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, kindly do so so that you don't miss out the videos that I'm going to be posting. So question ten is saying the roots of a quadratic equations are these, and then alpha uh, uh, alpha and beta, and then form the form in terms of p and q the quadratic the quadratic equation whose roots are alpha cubed uh, minus p alpha squared then the other root is uh, beta cubed minus p beta squared so here what is mo what is the most important thing here to do is uh, to know to say you just so these questions question 8 9 and 10 are basically the same so we know to say our first value of uh, uh, I mean our our first root is alpha cubed minus uh, beta I mean p alpha squared, and then our second root that we have is uh, beta cubed minus p beta squared. So basically what you do is you bring all these to the other side of the equal sign. So when you bring alpha cubed to the other side of the equal sign, it will be negative alpha cubed. And then this will be a positive P alpha squared being equal to zero. And then the same applies to the second part here. You do the same, you bring them to the other side of the equal sign. So this is what you are going to have. It's equal to zero. So here is just a matter of now multiplying the two. So you multiply the two. Sorry. So you are going to multiply the two. You multiply the two. All right, so here you just multiply them. So this is what you are going to have. See, we're just uh, like solving the quadratic equation in the opposite, in the reverse way. Yeah. Okay, so this is what we are going to have. So after multiplying the two um, equations, you are going to have a very long equation. So this, these equations are simple, they are just too complex. So you are going to have something like this. And then you do it on your own. But for me, after solving it on the paper, and then if I, I, I factorized it, this is what I came up with. This is what I came up with. So you can try it out on the separate paper as well, on your own. This is what I came up with. And then you have your have P. Then there you have alpha squared plus uh, beta squared and then okay so basically this is what I found and then you have your x after factorizing it yeah because if I start expanding this one by one I'm going to cover all this board here with just calculation. So the best, the best is uh, I did it separately, and then I even factorized it, and then this is what I found. This is what I found after factorizing.
and so this is what I found so it's simple you just take your heart to to simplify it and then you are going to have your p squared there and then alpha beta squared as your last term of course all this is equated to zero don't forget yeah so now here the mat what, what we've just remained is to find the alpha and beta we know the expression so let me give you maybe the expression the expression for this we i wrote it in question uh, you can just uh, scroll back to question i think nine if not eight so the expression for this is simple alpha times beta let me just write them here so we have alpha times uh, beta which is just equal to um, c over a meaning it's q over one q over one will, sti will simply give you just q so this is just the same as c over a and then alpha plus beta which is a uh, negative b negative b uh, over a so alpha plus beta negative b over a so negative negative p over a will simply give you uh, p yeah so negative p times negative to give you positive p divide by one you get p so where there is alpha times beta put q where there is alpha plus beta put p and then what 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 of places like this part where there is alpha cubed where there is alpha cubed plus uh, beta cubed so such parts you you can either derive the expressions yeah if you can't manage to derive the expressions then you just have to master those expressions for alpha cubed plus beta cubed and alpha squared plus beta squared so alpha squared plus beta squared this is a squared so alpha squared plus beta squared is simply just uh, yeah so alpha squared plus beta squared simply just alpha plus beta then you square this then minus two uh, alpha beta so you can first uh, find this and then where there's alpha plus beta you are putting p where there's alpha beta you are putting uh, q so in other words we're having something like p uh, p squared minus 2 2q so we're having p squared minus 2q so meaning when there is alpha squared plus beta squared you have to put p squared minus 2q and then where there's alpha cubed uh, plus beta cubed you you first have to find this expression there this expression so this is alpha plus beta then you have 3 cubed then you have minus uh, you have minus 3 alpha beta 3 alpha beta then open brackets alpha plus beta so if you don't know how to derive these expressions you can simply just master them so this is what you are going to do so meaning while there is alpha plus beta you are going to put a uh, p so you are going to have something like this p cubed p cubed then minus 3p 3p q because there is p here and then there is also q here which is alpha times beta so where there is alpha cubed plus beta cubed you simply put that where there is alpha squared plus beta squared you put that and then where there is alpha plus beta in this question you put p and then where there is alpha beta you put q I know somebody is asking how is this alpha and this beta going to meet to give us alpha plus beta. 
is just by factoring out when you simplify it come and factor out the negative you are going to find alpha plus beta at some point while you are going to just come and replace with p so thank you very much for watching today's uh, tutorial video see you in the next tutorial video which is uh, question 11 shalom shalom